We are the Word Alive, and you're you're watching, watching Toxic Wobble Productions. are you and what is your role in the band individually you don't have to be the okay. world alive yourself okay right. okay uh. hi I'm I'm Zach and uh, I, I play guitar and do a little bit of uh, vocals for the word alive Your turn. <laughs> I'm Daniel I'm a Leo I'm about 5'8 150 and I play bass in the word alive is that good how Great. did you get the name the word alive we were just, uh, when we started the band, we just kind of were dipping into ideas of uh, the band names, and um, <laughs> we came with, uh, came came up with the word alive. Just like, it was going to be just alive, and we were like, the word alive. Like, wait, the word alive? And I was like, no, just alive. The word alive works, so. How long have you been the word alive? Uh, two years, three months, uh, six days, four hours, and uh, 34 minutes, eight seconds. You have milliseconds in that. <laughs> yeah, I'm we, just we, kidding. I don't know. About <laughs> two and a half years. <laughs> what inspired you guys to make music together? Um, just kind of the love for music, you know? You can't do it alone. You know? It's like sex. You can't do it alone. It takes two, at least two. It Unless takes at asexual. least two people. Unless you're, you know, some people like solo acts, but it's not really there's, me. There's things as asexual. I like groups. Groups of musicians, you know, making sounds together. Musicians. Yeah, an orzy of music. An orzy. <laughs> it's the new thing. <laughs> the orzy. The orzy. <laughs> What's your biggest challenge as a band? Um, smelly feet. Smelly feet. <laughs> that, that's important. That's one of them, definitely. Tom, so when you sweat a lot, the toms. I don't know what's in the material. It must be some kind of recycled material that may have been used before, so it mm -hmm. kind of smells like old feet already, so that's probably our biggest problem. Smelly Me and Zach feet. have smelly feet, mm -hmm. it's okay. We're I'm working sorry. on it. We're practicing. I mean. It sucks. Hot seat questions. What is the scariest experience you've had on tour? Um, probably one time we almost flipped over a guardrail into like a 20 or 30 foot drop. We were like sideways on it, and then we yeah, it was really it was it was close. It was a close call. We just uh, you know, made it out. Five. <laughs> Another time we came across uh, a lock the Loch Ness monster. Oh jeez. Um. Can you guys hula hoop? Yeah. Pretty well. Pretty well is an understatement for the hula hooping <laughs> things I've done. You can do around right your head and belt. Uh, belt. I can do it around yeah my arm. I can only do my the leg. Arm, this one, the cop out. Yeah, the yeah. arm and the head's easy too. I can that's do. Easy. I can do one on my chest, one on my both legs, and one around my waist and arms. Now see, now on, fire. Ooh, <laughs> on fire. On fire. Upside down. <laughs> What do you want to be for Halloween coming up? You have a lot of time to think about it. What do you want to be? I don't know. Or uh, what's your best Halloween costume you've ever had? Pro probably a Skittle. A Skittle? The green one. I'd probably so be, be the. Isn't Skittle the girl? No, that's M&M's. Mm. If we're going on the theme of green, I'll be a blade of grass. I think that would be kind of cool. And It'd flow in the wind. Mm -hmm. Beyond Fear Factor, what is the one stunt you would least likely do? Probably cow balls. You would do that? I wouldn't. Oh, that, I thought that was. What would be the first thing? Would be the best thing. Like, I could play with them all day, but I couldn't eat them. <laughs> Holy cow! Oh shoot! <laughs> if there was a zombie invasion, would you trip your best friend just to get away? From nope, I'd merc that zombie hard. You probably need all the help you can get, so you know you gotta help your friend out. Absolutely not. You may, yeah, you, you may need that help later. <laughs> Tattoos or piercings? You say both. 
There's no both in this Okay, well, okay well, what comes into uh, question? Just like what's better? Or what? What, what do you like? What do you, uh, piercing. Really? Yeah. I have tattoos and a piercing, but I don't, I don't know. Mustard. Mustard? I, I love mustard. Ketchup, ketchup or mustard? Ketchup, mustard. Ketchup. Okay, what, Mustard's what you my... Answer these uh, you tell them. Uh, Coke or Pepsi? Um, Coke. If a waiter comes up to me and says, uh, I'll have a Coke, and she, is Pepsi okay? I walk out. Always. Usually. Every usually. time. Sprite or 7-Up? Sprite. You say neither? Neither. I don't like any sodas, but... I mean, if I had Water. to choose, it'd be Coke and Sprite. Water's the best. Video yeah. games? Over books. I mean, video games are more fun, but books are more. You can learn. You can learn more, but. But let's be realistic here. Yeah. Our generation is all about video games. Um, electric over acoustic, and shoes over barefoot. I'm sure you feel the same way. I, I'm. I'm sure. I'm. I'm more shoes guy than barefoot. Blondes or brunettes? I like brunettes. I've. I've. Jumped through both. <laughs> I've jumped I'll through say. Both. Oh, of course. <laughs> through both rings of fire. You have to see which. You know, yeah. There's there's positive and negatives of both uh, both spectrum. On each spectrum, I guess. Uh, yeah, there's always. I feel like uh, I could really get into this. I'm not even gonna go there though. Just I feel like I could talk brown about or blonde, it for, bro. You know. Okay, I would say bald right now. Bald. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. Where's probably Portman? probably blonde. Probably blondes. Just you know. Just because, why not? Top or bottom, Zach? Top or bottom? Um, you can take that however you want. Yeah, that could I mean, be anything. That could be a okay. Top, bottom, bottom, bottom. Top of the mountain, bottom of the mountain, you know? I like top. I like top. top. I like being at the top. I like being on top. I like being on top. I like things. just, yeah. You know what? yeah. Boxers or briefs? Boxer briefs. briefs. Boxer okay, briefs, that, yeah. Yeah, that's the only one you can go Come on. Like, Boxer briefs. On. Scary, scary movies over com uh, comedy, I think, is better. You like scary movies? Like scary I love movie. scary movies. I love scary movies too, um, but I'm gonna go with comedy. Probably Thirteen Ghosts. That's a good one. Yeah. Scared me back in the day. I was hallucinating after I saw it. <laughs> really? <laughs> no drugs, nothing. Just I was straight up hallucinating. I'd walk. I, I walked out of the room and I saw someone like hung and I was just like <laughs> tripping out. Like after I saw that movie, I started seeing dead things. I guess. I thought uh, Signs was pretty scary when it first came out, but now if I watch it, it's not scary at all. It's but, bullshit. Um, yeah, it's not even scary. Sorry. Day or night, uh, Kid Cudi. <laughs> <laughs> right? That, that's that the answer. answer. No, that's the answer. That's the answer. <laughs> that's the answer. Fly or drive, uh, probably both at the same time. I like flying oh, planes. Yeah. yeah, no, that'd be cool. I like Sonic boobs or, or butt. Wait, you skipped Sonic or Mario? Sonic, obviously. That's I, way I didn't more even important. think it was, yeah. Sonic. What about you? Sonic. I actually like uh, Tails. Yeah, Tails was my guy. I or Knuckles. Knuckles. Oh, no, no, Knuckles. Yeah, Knuckles, that's what I'm talking about. The red one? The red one, He yeah. was hard. He was hard. He, hard. he had dreads. Or yeah, something. he did. He was sick. Yeah. He's like the Rasta, the crew. <laughs> yeah. It was cool. Um, <laughs> Boobs or butt, man? Dude, this is a rough question. I could go all day with this question, Equilibrium. Too. Yeah, there has to be, like, a good balance. Like, you know, like, with the butt comes, like, legs, and, like, it's, like, well, like, you know, like... And with the boobs comes, like, stomach, so it's, like, you know, like, so it's, like... I guess if I had to pick, yeah, what you, I would what say you probably hips, because that's right in the middle. Yep, that's true. That's true. <laughs> and it's you know it's not singling out boobs or butt. I'm gonna Feel say like behind the kneecap is it usually like that's the hit or miss for me. If they have a bad behind the kneecap, I'm usually thrown off. For real, yeah. everything else doesn't matter. Honestly. Yeah, no, nothing matters except for the kneecaps. If you I'm have nice, perfect, get at me. <laughs> sexy, knees, <laughs> smooth. <laughs> Take pictures of your knees. Lovely knees. Send them to me. What turns you on about the op what what turns you on about the opposite sex? That's a really tough question. Well, it all starts. Okay, this is how it starts. I walk in a room. They smell nice. They smell good. You know. You know that that draws me in a little closer. And then I look at their face and I and I look into their eyes and I have to look through the eyes. And if they and if there's and if there's any clouds or any like dark aura about them, I'm done. But if I see like a smile within their eyes then I'm good. I would have to agree. And then you look at their kneecaps. And then yeah, straight to the kneecaps right after that. What's your favorite sex position? Um, my favorite sex position would probably be just like standard missionary or just doggy style or I like I like when there's I like when there's mirrors, you know. So you know, like I I just like I just I don't ever stay in one position. I'm very like sporadic, but not like sporadic sporadic. I'm very like I wanna I wanna be like changing it up, but not being like 
too like repetitive. So I'll keep it. Probably the uh, the the crisscross applesauce. <laughs> Wait, huh? <laughs> Craziest place you have ha had ever had sex? Or want to have sex? Oh, this has actually happened. So I was driving down Interstate 101, going southbound towards Tempe. Literally. Literally. No figurative <laughs> talk right here. And um, so we were driving. I put it on cruise control. Just went at it, you know, just in a moving car. Fucked it out. Yeah, we talked it out, not but not with our mouths. <laughs> not with talked our. It out. <laughs> I didn't talk it out with my mouth. That's for sure. Where's the craziest place you've had sex? <laughs> Don't say in my room. <laughs> no. Uh, on on top of a mountain under the moonlight. <laughs> Best pickup line. Best. Okay, I got one. Roses are red, violets are bluish. You know what you need, my friend who's Jewish. Seeping through. All of the hearts. <laughs> My love for you is where it all starts. I, I believe in you, if you believe in me. And one day I hope to see. Especially with smartphones now, they have everything on them, so they're definitely like a necessity on the road. The biggest thing that I... Not the biggest thing, the one thing you can't leave home without, besides band equipment. Not the biggest thing. Probably my guitar. That's, that's band equipment. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you know, that's band equipment. I mean, you know. I mean yeah. Um, I don't know. Probably like uh, my computer. Or I guess my phone, but... <laughs> Subscribe! Check out other interviews!